question is from Lean Queen 2019. Can you build muscles that you can't connect to? Yeah, that all rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> no. we, yeah we, well, we need to correct this first or be help be accurate with yeah, it. You're so, connected to all your muscles. Yeah. So unless you're paralyzed, um, you are connected to your muscles. When we refer to poor connection, what we really mean is just a movement pattern that's not conducive to developing that muscle. So we'll use a squat as an example. When you're squatting, you're using a lot of muscles to do that squat. The, the main movers would be your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. There's more muscles than that, but those are the big ones, right? So let's say you're squatting, but the way that your movement pattern is set up, and maybe you develop this because you sit a lot or you only run or whatever, the movement pattern means that your movement pattern may have more quad doing more of the movement than glutes doing the movement. So now when you do lots of squats, you build big quads, but your glutes don't seem to get that much of a response. Um, this can be true for a lot of exercises. Bench press, for example, you may be able to get a really strong bench, but you notice your triceps and your shoulders really get well-developed, but your chest doesn't. Changing your movement pattern, or was like we like to say, connecting to the target muscles better can change how effective that exercise is for your target muscles. So, you know, the way she said it isn't ideal, but yeah, there's some truth to what you're asking too. Like if you have a poor connection or you have a, a less ideal pathway to like your squat and your goal is to build your glutes and your quads are carrying most load. Yeah. It's, it makes it, it doesn't make it impossible. It makes it very unlikely that you're going to develop that muscle very much. Like your glutes are going to work. If you're going to squat, uh, even if you have terrible recruitment pattern, they're still working. They're getting some work in there. It's just not dominant. And if it's not dominant, it's not getting the loudest muscle building signal. The muscle that's most dominant that's taking care of that movement is getting the loudest signal. It's going to get it. That's where the body's going to adapt and grow more muscle. Yep. So it's not that you're, you're not actually connected to it. We're connected to all the muscles. It's that you're not using it properly through the movements that you should be. And if you don't address that, then yeah, it's going to be very challenging for you to try and develop that muscle. In fact, there's you know, camps of people that, you know, anytime they see somebody that has an underdeveloped muscle, they always relate it to poor connectivity. Yeah. They, they don't have a very good Well, there connection. is a way to consciously recruit more muscle. And I think that's what we speak to that in, in being like taking the time out to really try to, uh, you know, like summon more from, uh, you know, neurologically, like to, to be able to really focus in on, you know, trying to activate, uh, you know, certain muscles and get their involvement, uh, you know, within the movement. Movement. So there is a way to really consciously like focus in on that and improve that process, but uh, which then in turn you know will will help the muscle to develop. So well, and this is the inspiration of Maps Prime. So we talked uh, the last question uh, shamelessly plugged Prime Pro, uh, but that's what that was designed for. You got joint issues, you're trying to address that. You want to figure out the right way to do it. You're not looking just to put a band aid. You want to fix that chronic pain. That's what Prime Pro is for. Uh, if you're looking for some, to get better connected to certain muscles because you have muscle imbalances like most people have, uh, MAPS Prime. That's what priming is for. It's mm -hmm. designed to help you get connected to the proper muscles before you go into exercises, and that's why we created that. Yeah. And that's why they're standalone programs because we know – that those things are so challenging for people that it should be a program by itself to figure that out for you. Yeah, like, yep, yep. Now, and and the the people or the athletes, I should say, that are just the best at learning how to connect to muscles. Besides correctional exercise specialists, um, they're really good at this for for functional purposes. But in terms of just developing and building muscles, bodybuilders, bodybuilders are the experts of the the resistance training world when it comes to figuring out how to connect to a muscle and figuring out how to feel and develop a particular muscle in a particular exercise. And you can watch really good bodybuilders will do a, a, an exercise and you can tell they're targeting the glutes in that leg exercise or they're targeting the quads in that leg, leg exercise. And it is funny. You'll notice this. I don't know if you guys notice this, but you'll have clients who, you know, oh, I squat and lunge all the time, but my glutes don't develop well. But what do they have well-developed? quads mm -hmm. or, Oh, I bench press all the time, but my chest doesn't develop and you, but I'm really strong. And you look at them and what do they have really well developed shoulders, shoulders and triceps. Yeah. You know, I had a client years ago who was a, a competitive arm wrestler, um, both hands. He was a highly competitive, both right and left. Of course, arm wrestlers use a lot of biceps and forearms in their sport. And when we did back exercise, first off, this guy could pull tremendous amounts of weight in rows. He could do one arm pull-ups 
But it was all arms. It was all arms when he would do them. So he would do all these rows and stuff, and his arms would get bigger mm. and more developed, but his back wouldn't get a lot of stimulation. So I had to teach him how to connect to his back with a lot of these exercises. And he had to change his technique and form and feel completely, even though he's doing the same exercise, just so he could connect to, again, quote unquote, connect to or target the muscles that we were trying to work. So if you're trying to develop your body, it's not just enough to do the right exercises. You have to do the right exercises the right way. Yeah. If you don't do the right exercises the right way, believe it or not, the right exercises can be the wrong ones for you. Not only can they be terrible for developing the muscles you're trying to work, but they can even cause problems. And I'll give you a great example. Um, it, one of the best exercises for somebody who needs to correct forward shoulder, that's the the posture where the shoulders roll forward, is a row, a cable row, for example. Best exercise you could do for forward shoulder. But if that person is doing the row with just their arms and their shoulders are forward and they're just pulling to their midsection and shoulder stay rolled forward, not only are they not going to get benefits, they're actually going to make their forward shoulder worse, even though it's the right exercise. So it's very important that you do the right exercises the right way. Otherwise, you're not only going to not get results, but you'll probably get the opposite of what you're looking for.